this video, we're going to talk about prepaid insurance and insurance expense. Let's start to our first topic, prepaid insurance. So what is prepaid insurance? It refers to premiums for insurance that are paid in advance. Ibig sabihin, ito ay tumutukoy sa mga premium para sa insurance na binabayaran ng maaga. At ito po'y paulit-ulit na pagbabayad na ginagawa ng isang provider para sa benepisyo ng pagkakaroon ng insurance coverage. The payment may represent 6 or 12 months of premiums. Ibig sabihin, ang pagbabayad ng mga premium ay karaniwan na umaabot sa anim o labing dalawang buwan. How prepaid insurance work? The term prepaid insurance refers to payment that are made by individuals and businesses to their insurers in advance for insurance services or coverage. Ibig sabihin, ang prepaid insurance po ay tumutukoy sa mga pagbabayad na ginagawa ng mga individual at negosyo sa kanilang mga insurer ng maaga para sa mga serbisyo ng insurance or coverage. Ang mga premium ay karaniwang binabayaran ng isang buong taon ng maaga. Ngunit sa ilang mga kaso, maaari silang umabot ng higit sa labing dalawang buwan. At kapag ang mga ito ay hindi naubos o nag-expire, ang mga pagbabayad na ito ay lalabas sa balance sheet ng isang kumpanya bilang isang kasulukuyang asset. Example of prepaid insurance Paid 2520 for a one-year fire insurance premium Prepaid insurance debit 2520 cash Credit 2520. So, paano po naging debit si prepaid insurance at credit si cash? So, babalik po tayo sa transaction. Ang sabi po sa transaction, nagbayad ng 2520 for a one-year fire insurance. Naging debit po si prepaid insurance kasi po yung binayad na 2520 is napunta or pumasok sa fire insurance. And then cash, credit, kaya po naging credit si cash, kaya po nang sabi sa transaction, paid, nagbayad, naglabas ng pera. Kaya po, credit si cash. And now, we are going to discuss about insurance expense. What is insurance expense? Insurance expense, also known as insurance premium, is the cost one pays to insurance companies to cover the risk from any unexpected catastrophe. Catastrophe means any event. Ibig sabihin, ang insurance expense ay isang fixed and regular expense that the person who has taken the insurance cover against any kind of uncertain risk in the future that may occur due to an event. Advantages and Disadvantages of Insurance Expense Here's the advantages of insurance expense. The insured person lives a stress-free life since the risk is not retained by him, but transferred to another person. The amount of premium is normally within the budgets of normal earning person and hence paying the premium is not that difficult. And here's the disadvantages of insurance expense. Non-occurrence of the uncertain event, the sum assured is not received. A lot of documentation is required to prove the fact and this is a tedious process. Now, let's talk about the difference between prepaid insurance and insurance expense. Pag sinabing prepaid insurance, ito ay isang account na under sa prepayment or an expense or something to be consumed. 
prepaid insurance is an asset account na re reported sa balance sheet. And pag sinabing prepaid insurance, it is pertaining to the portion of the insurance amount that is not yet from the word not yet incurred or hindi pa nakukuha as of the financial statement date. While sa insurance expense naman, ito ay isang expense account o ginagastos na pera na makikita sa income statement. Pag sinabing insurance expense, it is pertaining to the portion of the insurance amount incurred from the word incurred, ibig sabihin nagiging liable or subject to legal obligation for the accounting period. Example, August 15, 2030, paid 24,000 for a full year insurance starting September 1, 2030. Prepare the journal entry using asset method August 15 and adjusting entry at the end of December 2030. Remember, meron tayong dalawang methods para ma-record yung prepayments natin. But for now, let us stick with the requirement which is using asset method for simplicity. So, meron tayong prepaid insurance na 24,000 sa credit side at cash naman na 24,000 sa debit side. Now, here's the analysis. Yung asset natin which is prepaid insurance kasi hindi pa ito nagamit is equal to 24,000 at this point. Expense or the used portion, which is specifically the insurance expense, ay equal siya sa zero kasi ito pa rin ang simula. On December 2030 naman, ang adjusting entry natin will be debit to insurance expense, which is the 8,000. Computed as 24,000 divided by 12 months times 4 months expired. So sa prepaid insurance naman, we will have 8,000 at credit side. Now, let us analyze. On December 2030 naman, yung asset natin, which is the prepaid insurance, is now 16,000. We are talking about the actual balance here. So, bakit kaya siya 16,000? Kasi yung 24,000 na initial record ay may sa 8,000 or sa expired portion. So now, yung expired portion natin na 8,000 ay mapupunta sa expense account, which is the insurance expense. Ngayon, mind that when we prepared adjusting entry, we debited and credited the amount sa asset method lang. Again, sa asset method only ha. 